<sighs> Hello all, Scooby331 here again. Uh, sorry that that keeps happening. Uh, that is, I keep running out of space when I'm trying to cut this video on one shot. But uh, it is what it is. I was getting down to the end of it anyway. I was getting down to my crew. I was just apologizing and thanking everybody. I was talking about Pox when it cut off. Pox, you know the drill. Thank you, man. And uh, I know you haven't been sweating any heat that you've been getting off of this, but if you have been, I apologize if you caught anything that you didn't want to hear about. And uh, I want to thank you. I want to thank your wife. Uh, she told me she goes under the handle Creepy. I know she uses the channel Starchy Abyss also. Uh, I want to thank both of you. You know, you guys were there for me uh, when this shit started to go down. I know that, like I said before, Pac, you felt like you had some sort of sense of obligation. You ain't obligated to me, man. Neither of you are. But you're my friends and you stood by me. I appreciate that. Thank you both. Uh, Voice of Burnside or the Burnside Film Project. Burnside, you're a great person. And the fact that you've been getting bombarded with all this shit because of me and went through all of this heartache and all of this trouble and all this woe, I can't even tell you how sorry I am for you going through all this and how more than appreciative I am for you helping me with everything. Thank you, Burnside. Thank you for just being there. And I'm sorry that you went through all this. Uh, Tara Sin. If it wasn't for Tara Sin, I probably wouldn't be having this conversation with you guys right now. I probably would have just fucking walked away. Tara's, she's like a rock. She's the reason that I was able to weather this storm with my sanity intact. You know, because it wasn't so much what these cretins keep doing trying to, to screw with me. I could give a fuck less about that. It's the fact that a lot of folks were getting mad and walking away and distancing themselves from me and not even giving me a chance to speak or listen to what I had to say. That's what got to me. The, the people I cared about turning on me what got to me, these chuckle fucks sitting there, you know, pulling on their dicks, going into the computer for like six hours at a clip, I could care less about them, but the fact that it was making other people keep their distance, that's what bothered me, and Tara was the one who helped me get through that, that really affected me a lot, Tara, you have no idea how much you appreciate everything you've done for me, and the fact that you went through all of this horrible, horrific shit, just the threats, the name-calling, the videos, everything. You can't even imagine how sorry I am that you went through all of that. You have no idea. Thank you. Thank you for being there. I'm so sorry that they put you through all of that. And finally, I saved the best for last, if you'll excuse the expression. The next six minutes. You know, I talk to a lot of people on here, and there are people I stream with on here. I consider them like a brother. I consider them like a friend. I consider them like family member, cousin, whatever you want to put it. Six is the first person I could say I consider my partner. And what I mean by that is, when you do news as an anchor... You know, there's usually, you, you have a co-anchor, it's you and your co-anchor. And Six and I just mesh when we're on the air together. We have that je ne sais quoi, you know, that's the fluidity to our rapport. And Six did not deserve to be punished with getting saddled with somebody like me. And I haven't done anything in my life good enough to deserve somebody like Six. So, that's part of why I think that our chemistry work as well as good. And uh, the fact that all you guys went after Six the way that you did, knowing that Six is a peaceful human being, and knowing that all he wants to do is have everybody, you know, get along, and wants no, no static, no friction, nothing of that nature, and you just went after Six. I ain't going to turn this into a video about you guys. That's not what's going to happen here. This is about Six right now. You know what? None of you are worthy to carry this man's water. Seriously, none of you. Six is a gentleman of the first fucking caliber. 
and you people went after Six knowing that he was a gentleman and he was going to show you nothing but courtesy. Me, personally, oof, I swear, if I was standing there when you were trying to talk to Six this way, if this had happened in real life, IRL as they say, I'd probably catch a charge that you're going to talk that way to a man like that. Come on, what the fuck's the matter with you? This, you don't, if you're lucky in life, you get to meet somebody like the next six minutes. And that's all I'm going to say about that. You guys are going to sit there and do that. You're the same sort of punks that crucified Christ. So, six, my brother, I love you, man. Seriously, you have no idea how much you mean to me. I'm so sorry, not just for what everyone else put you through, but what I put you through. You did not deserve an iota of that. You put up with my insanity like a fucking champion. You put up with me. You put up with all the crazy shit I put you through. You put up with all the insanity. You took it in stride. You took the abuse. The friggin'. I was sitting there like lacing into you. You know, be, have my emotions running high and you're right there. And so you're taking the full brunt of it. You're taking friggin' inferno level heat. You're just letting it roll off your back because that's the type of man you are. And there's, I don't think I've met anyone else on the internet so far that's got the same level of class that you do. I want you to know that. I can't even think of a word, words better than thank you. Seriously, I, big block letters, thank you. Seriously, man, you're a prince. I'm fortunate beyond words to have met you and to have made your acquaintance, sir. And... The fact that I was the one that nearly destroyed that, you have no idea how much that haunts me. There's no words I can think of to <sighs> properly summarize how sorry I am for what had happened between you and me because it was all on me. And again, you're one of those people, you did not give up on me, you did not turn your back on me, even when I was being an insulting asshole, even when I was saying horrible shit. No, you took it all and tried because you knew it wasn't coming from the heart. You knew that was uh, that was all the hatred and vitriol that I was getting bombarded with from everyone else. And I, when you know, it, when they get you to the point where you turn it on the people you care about, I'm sitting there and I'm snapping at you. I'm snapping at Burnside. I'm snapping at Terra. I'm snapping at Irv at Pox, and you all stayed by my side. You have no idea how much that means to me, and I thank all of you for it. You're good friends, you're true friends. You mean the world to me. Especially you six. Got no idea. Well, I said, man, you're my partner. You know? The cowboys, you're a cowboy. Seriously, there's always like two or three of these guys. Usually two. They're running, uh, what is that, the cattle run? They're running the, the cows from Texas up to Chicago. I've seen enough of them Gary Cooper movies when I was a kid. Yeah. I couldn't have done the stream without you, you know, and we're going to be streaming again. For those of you folks who are watching, uh, we're not going to call it, obviously, its original name. Um, Friday night, I'm keeping, it's Friday Night Chaos, that's what I call it, because that's what it's always been referred to. Um, I don't know what name we're going to go with for the stream. Irv had picked out a name, we both ran with it. Uh... We're going to see if we're going to keep that. We're going to see what develops. But starting in the new year, we're probably going to be streaming again. We're going to probably look at different times. We're going to take it from there. But i tell you right now, it's going to basically hinge on what's going on with Six. Six is going to do his own thing two times a month because he's busy with work. So we're going to try. I want to try to see if we can maybe do it where on Friday nights when if Six gets off late, we'll do after hours with him. Because six, none of us are going to give up on you, man. Even if you only show up once a month for 20 minutes, that 20 minutes is all you. Seriously. I keep thinking about what you said to me the other day. You don't give up on a friend no matter what. And same thing with you, man. I don't give a shit if you only come. There's 365 days in a year. If you only come for one out of them, 365, you're still the co-host. And that's how that will always be. <sighs> 
look folks, that's pretty much all I had to say. I'm sure I missed one or two people because I was going off of memory. I went through the Discord. I was looking at different things. A few people have deleted their accounts and changed their names, so I might have missed you. Look, if anyone feels I missed them, hit me up. We'll talk. I can cut a video like this, or we could uh, do a stream. Whatever you want to do. But I'm just saying, anyone who feels that I did them wrong that I've listed thus, thus far. I didn't mean to do you any dirt. That's why I apologized. Any of you who feel that I did you wrong because other people have been coming after you because of the shit that I did. I got no control over other people's actions. All I can do is apologize for the, their actions. If it's, I'm the focal point of that action. Not my intention for you to get draped into this. So, basically, if any of you folks have anything that you want to address that I didn't cover here, if you're one of the people I listed, or if you're somebody that feels I forgot you on here, hit me up. We'll talk. I'm definitely, you know, my door is always open. My ear is always friendly. If you're one of these people who has a problem problem with me, like one of the people who's been starting trouble and trying to cause all this trouble, um... I don't know what talking about to me is going to do. I mean, you guys have already said your piece publicly anyway. If you want the opportunity to come and yell in my face about it, well, you can try to do that shit. I mean, you've seen what happened the other night. I tend to fall asleep and, you know, it goes off. If it gets too long and too boring, it does happen. You know, I, I got uh, an attention span problem. And it will manifest if you're dull. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I think this pretty much uh, sums it up. Yeah, any questions, you guys, you know, hit me up. But, yeah, any of you folks feel that, uh, that any of you folks that I listed feel jaded, feel raw, feel wrong, don't. Because I can be a hard ass. But, you know, I can also be a sweetheart, too. So you just don't got to worry about it. So, again, anyone got anything that they want to ask me or whatever, just hit me up. So, I thank you folks for taking the time out to watch this. I apologize for these videos being as late as they were, because uh, it just didn't occur to me to cut a video. You know, I figured I'd talk to people on the air about it. Everyone watches it, they hear it, but I guess people don't think it's sincere unless you don't cut a video. I wasn't aware of the etiquette breach on my part, so I wasn't trying to breach etiquette, so sorry about that. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm Scooby331. I will uh, see you all next time. Take care. Andre Vidarchi.